fossil manipulation. The ethics and reality of altering. Ancient remains. Fossils are invaluable windows into the deep past, offering clues to the evolution of species, past climates, and even the history of the Earth itself. However, the scientific community has been rocked by controversies surrounding fossil manipulation, altering, or even falsifying fossils to present misleading narratives. This practice, which ranges from subtle modifications to outright fraud, raises profound ethical concerns and can significantly skew our understanding of natural history. The Nature of Fossil Manipulation Fossil manipulation involves any deliberate alteration of a fossil specimen that changes its appearance or characteristics. This may include grinding down bones, rearranging skeletal parts, or creating composite fossils by combining parts of different species or individuals. Some manipulations are minor, done to enhance visibility or clarity in a scientific study, while others are far more deceptive, intended to create false evidence of evolutionary or ecological processes. One of the most notorious examples of fossil manipulation occurred with the infamous Piltdown Man in the early 20th century. In this case, a fossil skull and jaw were presented as a missing link between humans and apes. It wasn't until decades later that the fossil was revealed to be a deliberate hoax, with the jawbone of an orangutan combined with a medieval human skull, with teeth ground down to make the combination appear more plausible. As paleontologist Stephen J. Gould remarked in his analysis of the case, the Piltdown forgery was not a mistake, but a fraud of careful and calculated intent. This quote underscores the deliberate nature of fossil manipulation in some instances, intended to deceive both the scientific community and the public. Methods of Fossil Manipulation 1. Grinding Down Bones one common method of fossil manipulation is grinding down or reshaping bones to fit a predetermined narrative. In cases like Piltdown Man, teeth were ground down to fit the evolutionary hypothesis of a hominid ancestor that possessed both human and ape-like characteristics. Grinding the teeth in this manner created a composite that appeared to support the evolutionary theory of the time, thereby misleading scientists into believing that they had found the long-sought missing link. In another instance, paleontologists have discovered manipulated dinosaur fossils where bones were reshaped to emphasize specific anatomical features. As paleontologist Xu Xing notes, in some cases the fossils were altered to highlight features thought to be indicative of flight, like grinding down certain bones to suggest wing structures. These types of modifications can skew scientific understanding, causing scientists to misinterpret the fossil record. 2. Composite fossils In some cases, fossils are not altered, but different bones from various species or individuals are pieced together to create a new, fraudulent species. The practice of creating composite fossils can easily mislead scientists and the public into thinking that a new species has been discovered when, in fact, it is a mosaic of unrelated individuals. A notorious example of this form of manipulation involves Archaeoraptor a fossil purported to be a transitional form between birds and dinosaurs. After extensive study, it was revealed that Archaeoraptor was a composite of different fossils from unrelated species, glued together to create the appearance of a single organism. As Timothy Rowe, a paleontologist at the University of Texas, stated, the fossil turned out to be a fabrication, pieced together from bones of two different species. This revelation significantly impacted the credibility of certain studies on bird evolution and raised ethical questions about the responsibility of researchers and fossil traders in authenticating their findings. Motivations Behind Fossil Manipulation The motivations for fossil manipulation can vary, but often involve a combination of scientific ambition, financial gain, and ideological bias. In the case of Piltdown Man, there was a strong desire among some scientists in early 20th century Britain to find evidence of human evolution on British soil. 
This nationalistic desire led to the acceptance of fraudulent evidence without sufficient scrutiny. As Gould points out, Piltdown Man reflected the hopes of an entire generation of scientists and laypeople alike who were searching for an English connection to humanity's origins. In some instances, fossil dealers, motivated by financial gain, may manipulate fossils to increase their value on the black market. Fossils are often worth considerable sums of money, and rare or unique fossils command even higher prices. Manipulating a fossil to make it seem like a new species or a more complete specimen can increase its market value dramatically. This financial motivation has led to a black market for fossils in places like China, where some of the manipulated fossils, such as the Archaeoraptor specimen, originated. Consequences of Fossil Manipulation The consequences of fossil manipulation are profound, both for the scientific community and for public understanding of evolutionary history. Falsified or manipulated fossils can lead to the propagation of false theories and skew the scientific record for decades. The Piltdown Man hoax, for example, delayed the recognition of legitimate early human fossils and misled research into human evolution for nearly half a century. As scientific historian Ronald Numbers remarked, the Piltdown hoax set the study of human evolution back for decades. Fossil manipulation also damages public trust in science. When fraudulent fossils are exposed, they contribute to a narrative of skepticism toward paleontology and evolutionary theory, fueling conspiracy theories and creationist arguments. This erosion of trust in scientific methods undermines the work of legitimate researchers and complicates public understanding of complex scientific issues. Conclusion Fossil manipulation, whether through grinding down bones, creating composite fossils, or other forms of tampering, poses serious challenges to both the scientific community and public trust. As the examples of Piltdown Man and Archaeoraptor demonstrate, the consequences of such manipulation can skew scientific understanding for years, leading to false theories and delaying the progress of genuine discoveries. In an era where scientific credibility is more important than ever, it is essential for researchers to rigorously verify the authenticity of fossils and remain vigilant against unethical practices. By maintaining strict standards of integrity, the scientific community can continue to unlock the secrets of the Earth's past without falling prey to the temptations of manipulation and fraud.